Come on, we have to have a little cherry on top of chocolate mousse, don't you think? Gonna get a little mar, um, what is it? Marchino cherry. I'm just gonna top that off. And a couple of things. You could dust this with cocoa powder if you want, or if you've got like a thick piece of chocolate or whatever. I am gonna kind of shave this chocolate bar. Let's see how that works. Hi everyone, I'm Amy, Amy Roloff, and I'm in my little kitchen. Um, well, I think I mentioned it when I was doing the recipe for my s'more cookies. It's been a slow start for me in the new year, 2022, and we're here already in mid-February. I was hoping to have gotten these chocolate recipes out sooner, but I don't know. It's just been a very slow start for me. I've had a tough time, and I'm not sure why, but... Today, we're gonna to talk about chocolate again. So of course that puts a smile on my face and we are going to make chocolate mousse. Um, I've made chocolate mousse before and sometimes I don't think I even used an egg, which I can't remember how else I would have made it. But anyway, uh, it's been a while. But this time I am using egg yolks and egg whites separated. I've got some cream here. I have about five ounces of chocolate, like a chocolate bar, chopped up. I used a little bit of semi-sweet and 60%, and then some butter in here. In fact, I think my water is starting to boil because we're gonna melt the chocolate. I'm using a hot water bath method. I prefer that method over the microwave because I just feel like I have more control over melting the chocolate and less chance of it seizing up and we're gonna keep the chocolate warm enough so that we can temper the egg yolks. And kind of what I mean by that, and you have to be very careful, because believe me, I've messed it up. My chocolate was too hot, and then you're like scrambling the yolk in there, and it's cooking like yolks, egg yolks, scrambled eggs. And so you want to keep the chocolate warm enough so that you kind of cook the egg yolks without cooking them, if that makes sense. So we've got a lot of different parts here. We're gonna melt the chocolate, then we're gonna temper the egg yolks and put that in the chocolate mixture. We're gonna whip up the egg whites. We're gonna whip up some cream. This is about a one cup. I'm gonna flavor this mousse with about two teaspoons, a little more of espresso powder. That is a lot different than just coffee, ground coffee. Espresso powder is, I think, a richer, deeper flavor but it's also like powdered, like powdered sugar almost. So it's not the thicker granule. So definitely uh, use espresso powder. And I believe you can find that in most baking sections of your grocery store. And then we have two tablespoons of sugar and a little bit of vanilla. And I think that's it. So, and I think with the egg yolks and the egg whites and tempering uh, the egg yolks and everything, I think it'll hold the mousse a little better uh, together. Uh, you definitely have to put it in the refrigerator. So anyway, uh, hopefully I will explain it as I go along, but it is mid-February. We're still talking about chocolate because it makes everybody happy. So I'm gonna, temp I'm gonna melt the chocolate, but I want to bring you over here to my stove because I'm sure a lot of you guys have uh, melted chocolate by using the hot water bath. And this is a big, strong, rolling, boiling water, but I'm just gonna turn it down just slightly. Cause you don't want to melt the butter so quick. I think that's enough. So I'm just gonna put this over there. I'm just gonna let this melt a little bit. Then I have like a silicone spatula that I'll gently stir the butter and the chocolate together and have that really smooth and glistening. So, okay, we'll just give this a moment. So while the chocolate is, oh, let me check up on it for a minute. I'm gonna turn it down just slightly because by putting the pot on, the, the glass bowl on the pot, 
it builds up that steam and stuff. And that's why you only want a very low, low boil or a very high simmer, if that makes sense. Let me bring you over here again. Sorry about that. I'm, I keep moving you guys around. See, it's starting to melt. Let me get that butter in there. And it's really why I'd rather use a chocolate bar over chocolate chips. Because a chocolate bar is very, um, I don't know, it just melts better. It doesn't have all that stuff on it. Okay, where's my spoon? Where's my spoon thing? So I can hear the water. I'm going to turn this down just slightly more. There we go. Okay, there we go. This will take a moment, so let's go separate eggs. Okay, while the chocolate is happening, we are going to separate eggs. I am going to put the egg whites in here. Did I bring that again? Whoa. I almost got a shell in there, people. Whoa. Don't want that in there. Okay. Gotta make sure I get all the egg whites out. Okay, see there's one yolk. Okay, there's one yolk. Okay, see, even, I hope you guys can see this. kind of fun. It's kind of fun doing this. Oop. At least the egg yolk cracked in this bowl. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Okay, come on. I don't know, chocolate mousse, it sounds so delicate. I'm trying to be really careful. Okay. Put that over here. Wipe off my hands. So I've got yolk here. I've got egg whites here. I'm gonna use up a whisk. I just want to roll it on a, I hope you guys saw that. Oh, barely. Okay, sorry about that, but I got all the yolks in here, or the egg whites in here. So we're just gonna whisk up these egg yolks a little bit so that when the chocolate is ready and has cooled down enough, but still warm. The egg yolks will be ready. We are going, where's my whipped cream? Where's my bowl for my whipped cream? Huh. Okay. I think this will probably be too big, but anyway. One cup of whipped cream. I'm going to add a splash of vanilla in it. And let's go check up on our chocolate. Hi, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are enjoying it and I would really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to it. And oh, don't forget to click that little bell up there 
and you'll be notified of future videos that are new and coming on my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for that. And I would really appreciate it if you shared the video and let other people know and encourage them to subscribe and like the videos as well. So anyway, thank you and back to the video. Okay, you can still see the chocolate pieces, but look at that. It is melting up very nicely. Chocolate mousse. Just got a little bit more ways to go here. Look at that. Okay. There we go. Okay, since I have, I'm gonna start whipping up my whipped cream and then I'll do my uh, egg whites. Tell you the truth, I love my power tools. There's my whipped cream. Let me get a, oh yeah. Um, see, I think that it's soft enough so that you can fold it without the whipped cream being too stiff. So we're just gonna leave that here. I'm gonna wash my beaters and we'll get going on the egg whites. Okay. I wanted you to see my chocolate. See how smooth it is? I'm just gonna let this cool enough, not too much, but cool enough so it doesn't cook the egg yolks. So yeah, I think that's gonna be good. So I have my whipped cream all done. Now we're gonna do the uh, egg whites. Usually I would, if I was doing a lot more egg whites for like meringue, 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 meringue? Moraine, oh my gosh. Anyway, if I was doing a lot more egg whites, I probably would have used my mixer, but these are just three, three egg whites. So we're gonna put in a little bit of sugar here, and then here we go. The egg whites will take a little bit, and you want firm egg white peaks, but not stiff. Because again, just like the whipped cream, you wanna be able to fold it into everything. Okay, here is my egg white. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but see how the peaks curl over and they stand, but it's not too stiff. I don't think it's too stiff anyway, but yeah. Okay, I don't want to deflate it anymore, but that's how your egg white should be. Okay, I did forget to tell you, as I was melting the chocolate, and I just wanted to make sure it was still warm so that when I incorporate the egg yolks and the cream into the chocolate or vice versa, that the egg yolks are able to cook a little bit. And that's what we call tempering. That I poured uh, the one tablespoon of espresso into the chocolate to make sure that got incorporated. So here we go. We are going to fold in. I just want to make sure... Just wanna make sure my yolks are good here. And we're just gonna fold in the egg yolk into the cream. I know you're probably wondering why into the cream. Well, this will help tempering too. So I'm just gonna fold that in. I think, let's see if I did this right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You just really want to make sure the egg yolk is incorporated into the cream. 
Okay, there we go. Because you don't want to over stir it. Let me see here. I think this is still a little warm. So I'm going to wait a moment. Let's see. Okay, so I did the... Okay. Hmm. I think this is warm enough. I don't think it's cooled down too much. So we're gonna slightly, oh, I hope I did this right. So we're pouring the melted chocolate, still warm, into the whipped cream egg yolk mixture. Again, I'm gonna make sure I get all of this luscious chocolate in here. Hurry up and do it. And we're just gonna fold it into here. I think that was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Yeah. And I think there we go. Okay, now for the egg whites. Okay, now for the egg whites. I'm gonna fold in just a little bit of the egg whites. You still want to be able to keep that fluff. That's why we're folding it instead of just stirring it. Okay. Well, you and I together are gonna to see if this works. So I'm gonna put in the rest of these egg whites. Gonna fold it in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you see that? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You kind of don't want to see any of the white streaks because again this is called chocolate mousse i think i'm almost there okay oh i think i'm there you guys Definitely was a little more than 16. So I'm gonna use this because you know me. Okay, we're done. So this is chocolate mousse. Now what you can do is that put it in the refrigerator for at least anywhere for four to six hours or overnight. It's a great dessert to make ahead of time, but this will probably just be in the uh, refrigerator for about four or six hours for tonight, because Chris and I are gonna have a little bit of it. But I am going, you can leave it in this bowl, put it in the fridge. Um, I probably wouldn't uh, put a, you know, like um, this lid over it, just because this can create moisture and now you got water within your mousse. So just a, like you would do like for a custard or a cream cheese, if you put saran wrap over this, but gently touch it on the mousse, that way the mousse gets cold without the condensation of water. So I'm going to get a spoon here and I'm going to put it in these nice little, little dessert cups. 
because I think this will look really nice. I cannot wait to taste this. Oh, I was hoping not to get any on the side. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's one. I don't know, these are probably six ounces maybe. I might be able to get six out of here. Well, I guess it depends on how full you make it. Oh, look at that. I was hoping not to get it on the side. Let's move on this stuff. Look at this, like chocolate and coffee. Can't go wrong there. Okay, that's two. There I did it again on the side. Here I was trying to be graceful. Okay, that's four. Oh no, that's three. You could definitely make, depending on how big your things are, you can definitely make this into six. Six little servings, that's four. Okay, I'm gonna run and probably get two more dishes, okay? Okay, if I didn't fill up, I'm gonna, you know what, can I taste this? I really wanna see how it tastes. And one of the reasons you do put these in the fridge is that they'll stiffen up a little bit. And so when you dip your spoon in there, it won't be firm, firm, but you'll definitely dip your spoon in and it'll just be so light and fluffy and chocolatey. But anyway. Oh. You guys. I could literally eat this all day. Mmm. So good. So if I didn't fill up some of these so full, I probably could have got six of them. So I'll show you how I will decorate it. Um, I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna make some more whipped cream a little bit. So I could put a dollop of whipped cream, maybe a little cherry with some chocolate shavings on it. Or um, I was thinking about sliver, slightly toasted sliver almonds, but I think this is light, this is fluffy, this is airy. This is chocolatey, chocolatey, chocolate, chocolatey, chocolatey, without it being too heavy. So I'm not sure I want that crunch in here. So anyway, in the refrigerator for anywhere from four to, no, I would say closer to five, maybe six hours, if not overnight. So I'll see you then. Now on to the next thing. So I'm gonna put these into the refrigerator for about four to, uh, no, uh, five to six hours at least, because you want them to firm up. You want them to kind of just set right. And then, um, and then you can do whatever toppings you want on it. I'm gonna do a little bit of whipped cream with a cherry on top, maybe some chocolate shavings. I think that will look really, really nice. This was not hard to make. It may have looked complicated because I get a little nervous dealing with egg yolks, tempering them, egg whites, folding, but I don't know. I think I thought it tasted great without it being too rich and too filling, but such a great sweet ending. So you can find this dark chocolate uh, mousse on my YouTube channel, Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. So please check out my YouTube channel and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it because oh, I think I'm back into the new year and I'm going to be doing a whole lot more on my YouTube channel and making some more just, I don't know, everyday dishes from my little kitchen. So till next time, and I'm going to finish this one off. Hi, I am back. It is the next day where I am done making the chocolate mousse. You should leave it in the fridge anywhere from four to six hours. So feel free to make it ahead of time or leave it in the fridge for overnight. And that's what I did. So I think I'm gonna have myself a special treat. I love chocolate mousse. It is light, it is creamy. It's, um, it's a great complement of a dessert after a good meal. So let's decorate this up a little bit. I'm gonna, I made some uh, homemade whipped cream. I'm gonna just stir this around a little bit because it got a little stiff. So I'm just gonna add that little dollop there. Um, I'm going to 
can use. Come on, we have to have a little cherry on top of chocolate mousse, don't you think? Gonna get a little mar, um, what is it, marchino cherry. I'm just gonna top that off. And a couple of things. You could dust this with cocoa powder if you want, or if you've got like a thick piece of chocolate or whatever. I am going to kind of shave this chocolate bar. Let's see how that works. Because I don't think this is really the right chocolate. So I'm just gonna do a couple of, oh yeah, little sprinkles of chocolate. And this is semi-sweet. So I'm just using like a peeler. Oops, let's get that off the edge. Yeah, there we go. So here we are, chocolate mousse.